Hi everybody, it's Miss Cristobal. Today we're going to start out our science by reading a couple of pages from the book called Handbook of Interesting Ingredients. People of contents of our book. It has several parts. As you can see, the first part says how to use this book and then list all the ingredients that you can read about. There's also a glossary where you can find where important words and their meaning and the index where important topics and where you can find them in the book. So today we're going to focus on reading about cornstarch, corn syrup, flour, and gelatin. So let's look at this table of content. contents. Cornstarch starts at page 12. So I'm going to turn to page 12. Page 12 and 13, and it's about cornstarch. Let's start out. How it looks. Cornstarch is a white powder. Where it comes from. Cornstarch is made from corn. Corn is ground up and then separated into different parts. Cornstarch is one of the parts. On the next page, important properties. Cornstarch has no smell and almost no flavor by itself. When you mix it with cold water, cornstarch makes a smooth white paste. This mixture acts like a liquid if you stir it slowly. It acts like a solid if you stir it fast. When cornstarch is mixed with hot water, the mixture gets thick and almost clear. The mixture becomes sticky when it starts to dry out. What it's used for? Because cornstarch makes mixtures thick, it is often used in cooking. Cornstarch is used to make thick sauces like gravy. Because cornstarch can become sticky because it is used to glue the paper around the outside of crayons. And finally, cause and effect. Cornstarch makes a mixture thick. Cornstarch can make a mixture sticky if mixed with hot water. And on the bottom of these two pages, we have a caption. On the left, it says, Cooks often use cornstarch to make gravy thick, and cornstarch keeps the paper labels glued onto these crayons. So that's cornstarch. Up next is corn syrup. Our next ingredient, corn syrup. How it looks. Corn syrup is a thick liquid. Light corn syrup is clear and light yellow. Dark corn syrup is brown where it comes from. Corn syrup is made from corn. Corn is ground up and then separated into different parts. Cornstarch is one of the parts. People use special substances to turn the cornstarch into sugars and water. That's what makes up corn syrup. Important properties. Corn syrup has a sweet flavor. It has no smell. Corn syrup feels slippery when it is wet. It feels sticky when it starts to dry out. Corn syrup freezes in the freezer. What it's used for? Because corn syrup has a sweet flavor, it is often used to make food taste sweet. Soda, some ice cream, and many kinds of candy taste sweet because of corn syrup. Just like sugar too, too much corn syrup is bad for you. Last part, cause and effect. Corn syrup makes a mixture taste sweet. Corn syrup can make a mixture become sticky as the mixture starts to dry out. In the caption on the two pictures, first on the left, corn syrup comes from corn. And on the right, one can of soda has about eight tablespoons of corn syrup in it. That's corn syrup. Up next, we're going to read about flour. Flour, how it looks. Flour is a powder. Different kinds of flour may be white brown or yellow. Where it comes from? Flour is usually made from the ground up seeds of plants like wheat, corn, or rice. It can also be made from nuts, beans, or roots. In the United States, people mostly use wheat flour. Important properties. Wheat flour does not smell or have much flavor unless it is cooked. Cooked wheat flour smells and tastes like bread. Flour becomes sticky if you mix it with water. When the mixture dries, it becomes hard. When flour is mixed with a liquid and get heated, the hot mixture gets thick. What it's used for? Flour is used for making bread, cake, and many other kinds of food. Because flour makes mixtures thick, it is also used to make thick sauces like gravy. Cause and effect. Flour makes a mixture sticky, Flour makes a mixture thick, and flour makes a mixture hard when dry. 
the captions on the bottom of these two pages. First, this is a top of a wheat plant. Flour is often made from wheat. And flour is the main ingredient in bread. So there's flour. Our last ingredient that we'll read about today is gelatin. Here is the next ingredient, gelatin. How it looks. Gelatin is sold as a powder or in sheets. It may look a little bit yellow or it may, not, may have no color. Where it comes from. Gelatin is made from the bones and skin of animals. Bones and skin are cooked in big pots. Foam rises to the top of the pot. That foam is gelatin. It is cleaned, dried, and ground into a powder or made into sheets. Important properties. Gelatin has no smell and almost no flavor by itself. When a mixture of gelatin and water cools, it gels. That means it becomes a slippery solid. What it's used for. Because gelatin can make mixtures gel or become thick, it is used in many foods. Gelatin is often used in soup, gravy, sour cream, cream cheese, yogurt, chewing gum, and gummy candy. Because gelatin can be slippery, it is used to coat pills. Coating makes the pills easier to swallow. Cause and effect. Gelatin can make a mixture slippery. Gelatin can make a mixture thick. Gelatin can make a mixture gel. Gelatin can hold ingredients in a mixture together. The caption on this page says, a famous dessert is made from gelatin, sugar, and flavor. That's all the time that we have today. So today we read about cornstarch, corn syrup, flour, and gelatin. I hope you learned something new about these four different ingredients.